Um, I'm used. To, I'm actually kind of used to um, performing in an audience, but this is different. This feels weird. I mean, I. Um, so this is my How to Be Basic Cosmo Beauty Con edition. Next. Um, let's keep this short. I mean, I teach on a daily basis. Like, I teach 13 to 17 year olds that don't listen to me most of the time. So I know that we have a retention span of five-year-old children. And, you know, we just look at each other and like nodding, but nothing is really going in. So let's keep this as short as possible. What's next? So there's one concept that I want everyone to take away, which is understand, identify, and apply. This can apply to anything in your life, but to, in this particular series, this is about makeup and skincare. So let's go and break it down. So the first thing is understand. I want you to understand yourself. It's really important to know who you are, what your skin type is like, um, what you react to poorly, um, and that way you can shape and build a routine that is customized for you. And it's really important to not just fall for the hype. I think we're so, we're such a sheep culture. We just tend to just gravitate towards what other people like. And that's just human nature. That's how we're built. That's our DNA. Um, and then also understand the brands themselves. Are they just getting you to buy something or do they actually have the good intention of wanting to help you as an individual? You need to tell the difference, like fake news, okay? Fake news, brand news, you need to know the difference. Okay, next one. And then second is to identify. So you need to identify your weaknesses. The first one is that I'm gonna just show you my weaknesses because I, that can maybe help you identify your own. Um, one of my weaknesses is that there's always something new, especially in the beauty community now. So many celebrities, they're coming out with different beauty brands and oh my gosh, it's getting too overwhelming. Lady Gaga, I heard Sierra is making her own beauty brand, Selena Gomez, like when is it going to stop? I mean, Millie Bobby Brown, a 14 year old, is making her own skincare line, it's a lot. Like you get overwhelmed and you just get excited because there's always something new. Um, so that was one of my weaknesses. Two is things don't look good anymore. There is a tendency that when you have something for a long time, you get sick of it and you're like, I don't want it anymore. So that is one of my weaknesses. And three, I don't like it anymore or I didn't even like it in the first place. So that is something called quick buys where you just bought it at that instance and then you, you're like, wait, why did I buy it in the first place? And the great thing is about in the US is that you can return those items. But here in the Philippines, they're like, you, we got your money, keep it. We don't want it. So it's different. And then the fourth weakness is that it's a good deal. You know when you go to perfume stores or like any other beauty store and they're like, we're going to give it to you with a beauty bag. And you're like, oh my gosh, great deal. Sold. And that's not true. I mean, yeah, you just fall for that. Especially like me as a Chinese person. Like my mom ingrained that in me that if someone gives out something free, it's a good deal. But... That ain't me. Okay, okay, next. So um, most of our weaknesses in society are built on like this construct, and I mentioned that earlier, is that we have the urge and buy, need to buy a lot of things. Like society is just makes us up that way. We have so many malls and you're just like, oh my gosh, I wanna get something. But do we really need it? Buying isn't a bad thing, but you need to buy what you need and Buying is okay, it's just really make sure that you have yourself on the lookout and that you're looking after yourself. Okay, next. So after I've identified my weaknesses, I'm going to apply them, okay? And one is working on being the best version of myself. So I'm gonna break down all the weaknesses that I talked about and how I combat it. So the first one was there's always something new. So um, how do I, kind of break that barrier. So I combat it by asking myself, do I have something like that? So I talked about foundation earlier, right? So I say, do I have that? 
Yes, I do. Do I need it? No, I don't. And that's the, that's the solution, guys. Just keep talking to yourself, and then you'll become crazy. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, and then second, and things don't look good anymore. You know, like, you open someone's makeup bag, and then you see, like, it's like the, the text is etched out, and it's not cute anymore. You're like, ew, it's so gross. There's bacteria in it. I don't want it anymore. The way I combated it is making sure I make, don't bring a lot out, and also I make sure I clean it. So like, it's always a goal of mine to, when I pull out my makeup drawer or my skincare, everything looks like it's from a store. When you have that and achieve that, you don't find the need to buy anything new. Trust me. Unless you're um, a hoarder. But let's not try to go to that. Next. <laughs> I didn't like it anymore, or I didn't even like it in the first place. The way I combat that is I ask myself, do I really need it? That's just a question that I hope you can take away. And then the fourth is a good deal. If there is a good deal and they ask you to, that it comes with a bag, do you have a bag? Ask yourself, yes, I do have a bag. So I don't need it because it's not even cute. They have their logos and then they have this like weird print on it. I don't, I don't know. I got over it quick. It just took a while. So, next. So, in the end of this, you understand, you identify, you apply, but you also have to treat yourself. Indulge in nice things for yourself. Don't just go for something because it's affordable, okay? Like, get it because you want it. Get it because you deserve it. I deserve the best. I want brands to work for me. I want because brands are dictated by you, the consumers. You tell them what you want and what you deserve, and you will be able to get it, okay? Because we dictate it, and then we also eliminate the bad brands. So if we don't buy from it, then they can't exist. Next. Okay, so, like, the tendency is, when I'm trying to, like, talk about these things, there are a lot of people who are like, oh yeah, but you didn't do this, you still like buy some stuff or you still receive some products. And I want you to remember that if people are trying to call you out or say like you're not making a difference, you just know yourself that you are working on yourself, you are in the process of growing, no one is perfect. And that you just have to be strong and say, I'm learning, I'm in the process of growing and I'm just evolving. Oh, I just tipped over. Okay, um, and yeah, next. So yeah, I just wanted to show you, ugh, okay. I just wanted to show you my makeup drawer. That's everything that I have in my house. It's just in one drawer and I've organized it so that I identified what I have. So I have two different types of primers. I have three different types of foundations, light, medium, and heavy. I have blushes with four different sets, some um, three concealers, light, medium, heavy. So all of them are catered and are necessary in my daily lifestyle. And that is what I have curated it to. Okay, and last one. Boom. Okay, and that is my final one. That's my skincare product. This is what I use night and day. So if you can condense it to something this small, then that is great for you. Yeah, and that's it. Thank you very much, everyone.